That's what I was saying, like, if we're doing the one at, where the first one's at yours, the second one's at a venue, yeah. then the third one is the big one. Yeah. Then you control that, you have four months to put that together. It's not like a month or two months to put together yeah. a band. Like, you've had a band for two months put together, you've had rehearsals, you've run through with any artists that you want to have featuring. What's happening, boss? Yeah, we're good, we're ready. Show ready, just gonna get ourselves set up. A little, I think a piece nervous, but you know, it's alright. This time last year, because you imagine this happening? Yeah, no, no, for real, for real not. Like, I remember coming to Zez events for the first time, for Bricks and Zez back in the day. It was a good vibe, and I was like, okay, I want a headlight here one day. But to think that I'm doing it in a year? Nah, I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't expect that. So, yeah. Really appreciate everyone that supported me this far. Yeah, I'm just gonna see what happens. I like that. Yeah. I like that. My name's Memo Brown, to poetry, um, but my name's Kyra, so I'm transitioning to being my real name. Okay. Um, so I'm going to reintroduce myself on this platform as Kyra. Amazing. And when did you first meet Sean? <laughs> the first time I remember is when he came and performed at my events, and I was like, who's this kid? I love him. He's so smooth with it, mm -hmm. um, which I really liked, yeah. and like really, uh, as you know, as per the name, mm -hmm. just so humble. humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his energy as well as his artistry that like I really like gravitated towards. There you go, that kind of like, well, we're as well. Courtney, MD, and drummer. You know, it's, he's mm -hmm. recently walked into the well, knowing what he wants. I guess the stratosphere of having poetry, but having music be a deeper part of it. You know, he's trying to keep the essence of poetry, but still have a musical vibe. Have you got any message you want to give him before the show? Keep working hard. What's your name, good sir? Oh, Solomon. Solomon. I've um, just met today, so I've known oh, for him. So I've seen him perform before. This is the first time that we're working together. Yeah, good luck. Um, Kayla, you've got such amazing talent, man. And just, yeah, just go for it. That's it. Take a second and think back a bit. Back to 1955, a lot was happening. Am I a poet or a rapper? I don't know. Realise the gift and I had to let it show. It is humble, what Sean. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, this is really special for me, like, uh, I started doing spoken word about a year ago, um, and Brixton says, as it was known back then, was one of the first shows I actually did, um, so it's kind of, like, amazing to be invited here as a headliner, um, and yeah, it's really special, like, thank you everyone for coming out to support. Yeah. Um, History unfolded, time passed. MLK did his thing and got his brains blast. Malcolm X did his best, he was another titan. And all the people after him understood the assignment. Became a lighted party side, Panthers all united. Until the gangsters called the police treated them like tyrants. Roam the streets causing beat, the protest turned to riots. Flood the city with white keys, note my people dying. Now, let's give her a couple years, then we can save ourselves a couple tears. Might I lay a couple fears, cause we felt the time was near when we could all see peace. And I wouldn't get stopped just for walking in the streets, but in reality, the situation's still a travesty. All devolved to anarchy and sanity. People treat me so callously. Thoughts of being equal, fallacy, distributing racism casually, and I've just got a question. And I hope you've got an answer. Now that I've set the scene, I need to know. Why? Why do you treat me with contempt? Why does my very presence offend you? Is it because I stole a job that was never part of your plan? Or because the sun actually shines in my motherland, no one's better than Woo! <laughs> Sorry, do you know what? I've actually been very rude. On keys, we've got Solomon. Yeah, very, he's a classically trained pianist. Yeah. But, um, he's actually, you've got, what's he, uh, you got coming out, you've got um, a recital on Wednesday. Yes. Classical recital. So for those of you that are into classical music, find Solomon in the break. To uh, give you the details. On drum, come on, we've got Courtney. Shout out to Courtney.
Corny's a married man, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> but he's, he's got a long list of accolades that I could list right now, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, can I, draw, can, I, can I get like a little. Just something basic. to the paper and let it go off, be biting. I don't mean to show off and when I speak, I am so soft, I always claim unique, I'm proud to be me, and when I clap cheeks, you know I do it passionately. <laughs> <laughs> screws like I'm Stanley. Thank you very much guys. Thank you.